Tatum was giving excuses if they lost before the game, which I find ridiculous. Like, see, if you do, you think that that, that do you think that those comments had an impact with media members? Like, they're they're looking at a guy who's supposed to be a savage, supposed to finish these guys off, and he's creating excuses in the event that they lose. Yes, Nick, you will always be that guy that says, "Well, he's actually technically right." Yeah, yeah, he's technically right. You want to know who he's also technically right about? It ain't the end of the world if they lose game seven, too. No, no. He didn't it, it, it wouldn't be in the – because he said it was not the end of the world. I know not the end of the world in terms of, yeah. you, know, you, know, you know, the series. No, but, technically, it, but technically, it's not the end of the world regardless because he's making $50 million a year. Really so good. It's the end of the world, Kobe. It's the end of the season. That's what he means. That's what he means. I, I, I know what he meant, but it's just such – it's such a – Bad optic thing to say. You're supposed you're supposed to be the head of the snake, even though we don't agree. Yeah. And which is one of the few things people that we don't agree that we actually agree on is yeah. that we think Brown's the best player in this team. And I and I will say that I will take that to the grave. Game three, that lead got shrunk down. Brown had 22 in the second half. You know he hits the the 17 the 20 footer over Hardaway. He hits the putback layup on a Tatum miss layup. Like every big shot down the stretch when they were losing that lead, Brown was the one doing it. Mm-hmm. And 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 Brown is effect he he's typically very efficient. And he was one, two, and three. Everyone was terrible in game four. four everybody. everybody. It was a while. This was his this was his worst shooting performance. Yet he still had eight rebounds, eight assists, two steals, and he's guarding the best players on their team. He just is. And he's yeah, I, I think he probably got a little tired because you're guarding Luca or Kyrie 75, 80 feet. Yeah. It, it wear it can wear on you. And you're still expected to score points. And you know, this was one of those games that at halftime, I said I said on video, they will be up 25 at the half. Okay, it was 21. My bad. But I because but they blew their asses out. And actually they only finished 13 threes, surprisingly, because they're they went completely cold in the second half from the perimeter because they had they, had tw- they were 11, they were 12 for 20, they were, I'm sorry, they were 11 for 23 or something. They had like a t- 11 or 12 threes at halftime, you know, but they dominated this game from basically start to finish. It was 9-2. I think it got to 13-11, and then that was the closest the game ever was the rest of the way. Yeah. For the most part. I don't, I don't think Dallas ever got the lead Yeah. in no. this game. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.